What's up everybody, welcome back to Meet That Gaming. My name is Roland, this is the best channel that nobody watches except a few special people like yourselves and today we're gonna be starting a new campaign. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a Roman campaign, but a proper Republican Roman campaign because I don't have, I, I don't think I have that on the channel. And what better mod than Divirei at Impera for that one? Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see what bonuses we get here, because I'm not, I'm not uh, yet decided on which house I shall go for. Okay, Julia, uh, which is Caesar's house, right? Uh, increased melee attack during battles against barbarian tribes. Okay, increased cultural conversion. That 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 could be helpful. Especially because we want to conquer planet Earth and Mars, eventually. <laughs> Cultural oppressors increase public order penalties due to presence of foreign cultures. So how the fuck does this work? You have Romanization and then you have this. Does, doesn't one cancel the other? How does that go? It's kind of weird. I don't know if I should play on hard, guys. I should probably play on hard and and um, normal battle difficulty. Oh, I have a couple of I have one sub mod that I use for the battles. Uh, it's for the horses to be more realistic, so a cavalry charge will be, will be more devastating that than than in the vanilla. I don't know if I should play on hard. I don't know. I'd like to play on hard. I'm gonna probably get wrecked. I mean, the mothers usually... Yeah, we're gonna play on normal, because Divide at Impera is hard enough already. Okay, whatever. Agrarian Wisdom, increased agriculture income. Founding Fathers, public order bonus from Latin cultures. Okay, this is kind of useless, other than in Italy. Uh, political elitists, moderate diplo diploma... Diplo Fucking god, I'm having a stroke. Diplomatic penalty with all factions. That's not good. Let's see House of Cornelia. Increased tax rate, that's good. Philhellenes, phil, phil, phil oh. Moderate diplomatic bonus with all Hellenic factions. Disdain for plebs. Public order penalty from presence of Latin culture. Okay, so from what I can see, these two offer a public order disorder. <laughs> public order disorder. This one has a diplomatic problem with the neighbors. I'd rather take the hit on public order and have a decent relationship when I want to do diplomacy, but we all know that diplomacy in Rome 2 is... Very good. It's very good, guys. It's very good. Um... Well, this is more of a army focused. This is more of a money. What? I wonder. Uh, increased melee attack. I wonder what that increase actually is. I think I'll go for this one. Sorry, this one. Increase tax rate. Yeah, let's go with this one. So we have more tax money. And... Yeah, we're gonna lose some bonuses on... the melee attack when I fight the Gauls, but whatever. Okay, the first re uh, re reform is Polyvolo for the Romans. It's when you reach Imperium level 3 and you can't have it before turn 40, which don't, don't worry guys, I'm not gonna... I'm not some... As you might know if you watch the channel already, I'm not some m genius when it comes to these games. I'm decent, I'd say I'm decent. 
but I'm no genius, so I don't. And I don't want to use fucking bugs and exploits to win campaigns. I'd rather do it the classic, as it should be way, you know, um, as much as possible. Of course, sometimes I will hunt down generals and shit like that, but I want to do a, you know, honorable campaign, I should say. So let's see what's going on. I know that I have. I played it once this campaign many years ago. I know that uh, Epirus is a problem. The North is a problem. I'm still friendly with uh, Carthage, but the faster I take out Epirus, the better. Or maybe the um, the Northern. What should I call them? Factions, tribes. Objective issued. Ascent manual complete control either by direct ownership or, or Okay, let's see what's going on here. Oh, we got some cash. Oh man, I forgot I haven't played Divide at Impera in a while. I forgot how these look. Oh how I missed you. Okay, we're friends with Carthage for now. So, I should focus either on the Etruscans or Epirus. Whatever. We will gladly listen to your offers, but do not trap them in lies. Let's start with the... Truth. A tidy sum to be sure, but our hearts are... Your offer is fair and honorable. I swear by the... Dog. Greetings, friend. We will speak together of whatever you wish. A tidy sum to be sure, but our hearts are full of courage. You heard? These guys heard the deal that I cut with the, the pirates and then they were like, well, shouldn't we? A flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom. A man is judged by his friend. They are at war with Insula. Okay. We will gladly listen to your offers, but do not wrap them in lies. The spirits know truth. There you go. Yeah, buddy. Roman simp. Nice. I will take word of our agreement. And <laughs> Calling other people Roman simp. When I'm the biggest it's Roman simp is funny. You have my ear for your speech, and if it profits me. Okay. Greeks are... Greetings to you. I trust you come with honor. Oh, I could get a defensive alliance with Veneti. Um. Hmm. Maybe they don't really have money. <sighs> Why not? Because, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't get defensive alliance with them. Oh, why not? Let's just go for it. Uh, isn't it like 10 turns I have to wait after I made the agreement? So I'll be busy for quite a while. And I think that's it. Yes, good. Let's get a spy. Somebody can line of sight, campaign map moving. Beautiful. Come on, sweetheart. Daddy needs you. Right. What? What's? What's going on here? Can I get another spy? No. I can get a governor though. Cultural conversion. This guy's pretty good. Okay, let's see. We have a strong garrison in Rome. No! Fuck off. Not so much here. Ascolum is. Pretty safe, I should say. Where is my military stuff? 
down south. Okay, Field Mars, we can get Roman Barracks. Or, fuck off. Or Auxiliary Camp, yes. Roman Barracks, Auxiliary Camp. Oh, I, this is awesome. I can actually see the prices. Okay, recruitment cost. Yeah, there's not actually such a big difference. Yeah, I gotta go with the auxiliary camp because uh, I, I want cavalry. I want cavalry. Um, what do I need for that? Should I go for it now though? Isn't there like other things to do? Sanitation, shit like that. Let's see how. Oh, yeah. But the, the sooner I get access to cavalry, the stronger I'll be able to hit. And I'm pretty sure Epirus will have some sort of fucking cavalry or elephants. Um, how's public order? Let's see. Public order is decent, although I, it's not that good in Consentio. I don't actually need an auxiliary camp right now. So let's go for something that's... more useful on the short term. Um, <laughs> hmm. <coughs> My god! Minus eight. Oh, this this is very recruitment cost for pre-Marian heavy infantry. Does give us ten food, thousand gold, six six hundred. This is less harmful. Oh, I remember. I used to prefer this one because it's it's less harmful than the other ones. It's like overall a pretty decent offering. Yeah, let's go with the grain pits. You cannot go wrong with the grain pits, they're also cheaper. We are going to need public order and wealth. Let's go with public order here. <clears throat> let's see. 12, 6, ooh, 9, minus 2 Emperor, main, yeah, 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 this is pretty good, requires, okay, this doesn't give growth, on the quarter, this, this, this is, this is the way to go, latrines, do I need this though right now, not really, How's the growth? Hmm. I want cash. This gives us 
uh, that's a lot of piracy penalties for a thousand and a hundred and it takes ten of our food I don't fucking know honestly, it's so... It's so je m'en fiche. Sanitation, so we have two left. I'm gonna get some cash if we upgrade this. Ascolum is another... Point that is good to invest in okay yeah that's it uh, let's get some troops <clears throat> light spear heavy spear sicilian slingers only on reserve money pay So what's the difference between these two? Missile damage 9, range 1, ammunition 24, right? It's the same shit here as well. And the rest of the stats really don't interest me, melee defense. Th these guys are actually faster, oh no, this is like, okay, this is a no-brainer. I want to disband this guy like 2.220, it's kind of a high upkeep. Let's recruit with the other guy because it's cheaper. How many of them I can get? Four. Okay. Five public order. Whoa. All of them require livestock. Probably have it eventually. Where do I check? Salt. That's uh, copper, yeah. Iron. Can probably also check it online to see where I can get some livestock from. I don't want to spend the rest of my money. Probably Athena gives wisdom and Ares gives strength. I give you peace if you will dare it. Yeah, I'll take it. Because then I can focus on the other Tarskans. So if I can go at it one by one, divide and conquer, baby, then uh, I'll be happy to take wars one at a time instead of warring um, warring I mean, yeah instead of having a war with multiple factions at the same time <clears throat> we're gonna do that anyway later on in the campaign when everybody's gonna hate us even more I 
searching for. At your command. Bring those guys over. If I go this and this, no, not good. But if I go on these two branches, I'll be fine. So let's start with this one. Ah, oh, interesting. Ascalum is better suited than this shithole. Shithole. Let's get that extra food. I'm gonna get that one soon. But for now, let's get the sanitation, because in the south, that's gonna help. <sighs> Sugar, what you doing? They're recruiting. Yeah, they have a decent force. Bitch! Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, we have a somewhat peaceful situation. These guys need wives. Man, that's expensive. <laughs> this guy's my general. Lucius Julius Libo. Uh, let me just check. Is it this guy? Yeah, what's your name? Local party member. Ah, fuck me, I'm blind. Yeah, this is guy, the guy. Okay, so we gotta keep that individual happy Junius Brutus it's this guy right yeah okay I'm gonna do some political stuff as well but now I need the money for other things namely the Etruscans maybe yeah let's check if I can uh, get some trade with um, Epirus. I mean, why not skin them off of some money? If I can, while I focus on these clowns. It'd be nice to take these four regions. Before... I start fighting um, Carthage. Ah, come on. Do not attempt to sweeten truth. I give you greeting and my attention to the. I should go for this before they send reinforcements. We're gonna have a public order issue once I move this general. I'm hoping. Like why, why, why? Just why? Texas slaves. Oh, military presence, okay. So if I pull this clown out. Oh, yeah, I forgot this is Dire et Impera, man. So that's gonna be 17. The 
this would be so nice. But why disturb the peace if I have peace? We're just gonna go for the Etruscans. Need a woman. You need a woman. <laughs> Loyalty for the political party this person belongs to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. We ain't doing that shit just yet. Who is... Actually, I wanted to ask a stupid question. <laughs> I wanted to ask who's the emperor right now. But we are still in the Republic! Let's hope I can bait out their army. Also, let's check the battle difficulty. It should be normal. Did I see mercenaries? Yeah, they're hiring mercenaries. Interesting. I'm gonna have some extra cash on our hand soon. A little bit of extra cash, you know, not too much. Papira, okay. This guy is out to these guys. Have some fun. Let me get the woman. So you start producing airs. Minus one empire maintenance, that's good. Yeah, so let's keep investing into these little putas. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just joking, guys. Minus two loyalty, but if I do it with... Uh, it's still minus two. But that's still manageable. Because I'm still gonna have enough. I can actually do it with the other guy as well. Maybe I'm thinking too much of it, but... Yeah, whatever. There you go. It automatically went up. And we're still good. Okay. Because Empire Maintenance is a nice thing to have on the minus. Hmm. Oh, I can still recruit these guys here. How come, though? Maybe it's this unlocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I can get one. We're not researching any technology, so uh, as I said. Okay, I'm gonna recruit a couple of horses. I have two horses, but yeah, this guy is not much. Charge bonus 48. Uh, what did I want to do? Yes. All 
We're gonna go on this branch because then I will be able to recruit a military or wharf in. Uh, it was Escalum, I think. Yep. Right. That's gonna reduce the piracy and shit. Not that. I don't know how important that is, but whatever. Is that. Is Aretium walled off? I don't think it is. But the thing is, I don't have a lot of skirmishers. I don't have skirmishers, I should say. So I can't just go in, do some damage, and fall back. Ay ay ay. Okay. There you go. Mm. Okay. Okay, let's leave this for now. Yo, I can't see shit. Commander. I want to get another slinger next turn. No, this is not walled off. Should probably, yeah, I should probably go for it next turn. But I can't recruit any more troops, even if I, even if I, for example, I would cancel one of the buildings. Yeah, it's still, I have four slots, I think. I'll just get maybe a mercenary. I don't think they have mercenary. Skirmishers. don't maybe they have no they don't these guys are expensive but Mr. Apius. Yeah, okay, so there's nothing I can do about it, I guess. Okay. Okay, politics are good. With some cash.
Let's just wait for that. Let's see if they attack me. I really hope they do. I might need to lay siege on them and then they will... Oh, what are they doing? Okay, so they're outside the city and recruiting. If I go for the city... And just... Try to occupy the center and then defend against them. Or I could do a... Okay, they have swords, they don't have a lot of... I could smash this army. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have three horses. I have five. Okay. That means. Um, that I have two to spare. And technically speaking, the reinforcements should come from the left. I can split the troops. And that's, I th that's what I think I'll do. I'll split the troops, I'll leave like four of my uh, melee infantry. Um, to defend my flank against their garrison. Maybe with the um, slingers as well. And then the horses, all the horses, will be... We have a possible high ground here. Enforcements approaching. There we go. 
Let's try to take the high ground. Ah, oh, there they are. I'm gonna take the high ground actually here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. <sighs> okay, come on. Okay, we got their horses, good. Let's get their general. One of our units has used all its ammunition. My god, how the fuck did they reach this here while we were still positioning ourselves? Are my guys really that slow? No, fuck off! These fucking idiots are not what listening, man. Did we get their general? Yeah, 
get over here. Units has used all its ammunition. All good there. Okay, let's go support these guys. Uh, you shall fire there. Okay, we managed to break those guys there. Transfer, transfer the cavalry on the other side. Um, like I'm gonna need the horses here.
Yes, there you go. turning in our favor yeah I think we're gone let's continue and uh, run them down our men flee the field of battle this is a shameful display. they're drunk Oof. okay that was a good one Hidden units have been discovered. We did suffer casualties, but whatever. Uh, if we manage to destroy the faction now, that's already a good, good, good step. Question is, what to do next? Honestly, expand to the north. Or take out Epirus. I think taking out Epirus would be higher on the priority list, uh, list. Although taking the north would be quite easier. But if I take out Epirus. Before. Um, Carthage declares war on us. Then I'm good. We killed four times as many as, as they did. Which is good. The horses were super useful. see these guys although they have big shields they cannot take a punch from the skirmishers what kind of skirmishers did they have ah okay i think they were javelins those are usually they have high damage output so fair enough i'd say You know what, I can ransom, because then I'm going to kill them anyway, and that's a massive uh, cash in income for me. I'm going to capture this, and yeah, whatever. Okay, nice. Softly, seigneur. And then I have a... yes... No. What about you? So we started dealing with them in the. F oh, where can I see which turn this is? Um, we dealt with them in the first turn. Uh, do, 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 regions, own provinces. Yeah, how do I see which turn it is? course 
I'm gonna look like an idiot for not knowing. Okay, whatever. Okay, we finished off the Etruscans, which is nice. I mean, we didn't finish them off completely yet, but whatever, you get the point. Arretium. Uh, phew. I would like a Roman barrack in Aretium and then maybe a auxiliary camp in Consentium or whatever it's called. Consentia? Consentia. <sighs> We're getting good replenishment. Uh, 19. These guys are too expensive. They have been very useful, but now it's time for them to go. It's a good life. Ah, baggage train. Yeah. I don't need this guy. This guy's useless. He's not worth the hassle. We got some swords. Okay. What's their charge bonus? 26. Um. So they can be good on the flank. Bonus versus elephants. That's also another good thing to have. I feel like I'm I'm good with these guys. I'm good with these guys. Um, they do a decent job. Now, I'm gonna have four horses. Uh, how much time? Two units, okay. That's good. Um, should I get another slinger? To have five slingers or another horse? Gonna go with the cavalry. If I can dominate the field with my cavalry, then nothing can stop me. Thinking about if I should keep the barrack. I don't think I will. I'd rather have something else there, some money maker. <sighs> Which one is the best here? Sanitation. Do they give? None of them give growth, right? So what else do I get? Research rate is nice. 8% research rate. Yeah, Shrine of Mamawa. And it's cheaper also, so that's nice. Uh, this is general details. Ah, yes, we can issue an edict because we have all the province of Latium. 
plus 15% tax rate. I'm good with the money. Let's see if I can get some growth. What's what's the growth rate here? Oh. Pfft. Okay. We need some growth. Loyalty from political now. There you go. Growth and public order for two food. Not bad. What else? Can you not see? Together, our armies could be nigh invincible. The world will tremble before our collective might. Yeah, 500 is better than nothing. And that's like 3000 made off of releasing them. Now of course not always it's a good idea. It's not always a good idea to release the troops, but in that situation it was uh, the best thing to do. down here do I need two armies not really oh oh fuck hmm That will be a that will be an expensive one, but if I can use my horses to get to, into their backs um, and charge them, then I suspect that the garrison will be mightily fucked. Um, and I also I cannot wait too much because then they'll send reinforcements, right? So. Should put this guy into the army. Okay. So you were saying something about a non-aggression pack, Mister? Athena, give you wisdom so that you may speak well and persuade me of your cause. I had hoped you thought better of us. Gold is usually offered in payment of service. We are you. You are welcome. Although my ancestors and people expect talk with purpose and honesty, you have the heart of a merchant, my friend. A merchant. A tidy sum, <coughs> but our hearts are full of courage. You bless our meat. I am honored to greet such an apple. You speak with wisdom. Good and noble friend. 
Hm. Eat shit, dog. Greetings to you. I trust you come with honorable words that I can hear kindly. All praise to the gods. They have led us to wise speech and heartfelt friendship. I agree. Okay, five turns and then I'm gonna be able to get that. Meanwhile, we can go on this branch, but I kinda need food. Oh, we can go for growth, yes. Usually isn't... I think it was this one. I'm, so I'm strictly going for growth here. Yeah, we need the medicus there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Farming, colonia, growth, money. Well, from agriculture, growth, money. Well, from commerce. Upkeep for land. Okay, farming settlement is what I want. Let's go. Ready for battle. So far, so good. The war with the Etruscans uh, went pretty smoothly. With Epirus, it's gonna be a different story. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. All good in the hood. Okay, let's do this last turn. Then we're gonna end the episode. I'm not here to burden you with demands. My offer is what we consider. No. Oh. We get more horses. But I already have them. <sighs> what turn is this man? Come on. Shouldn't it be in the records? Ah, current turn, there you go. Nine. So in a couple of turns, if I attack them, then we're all good. All Gucci. Technically, I, I, I don't know, man. I think it was ten turns. 
uh, and then you don't get a diplomacy penalty. Is there any stuff I can do around here? Not really. Okay, so if I attack Epirus, Carthage will be happy. Syracuse is currently independent. Not warring anybody, which is nice. And it's also very nice that I can do all this with only one army. I can invest uh, the money into the infrastructure then, and that is something that is mighty fine. Um, so what do I need in Rome? Twenty percent research rate. That's that is a lot. I I think I'm sold on that one honestly. Because public order is decent. Yeah, I can get resources, but yeah, let's go with the. Can I do that? No. Okay, what do I need? Ah, so okay, so we're gonna go on this branch because we need these two after I finish uh, in four turns that one. So we're gonna keep the money in the pocket for emergencies. Okay, two more turns. See, they have an army in Apollonia. I could declare war on them and wait for them to attack my army while I raid their territory. <gasps> Beautiful. Beautiful. Stay there. Don't fucking move. That is awesome. If I can pull out their army out of the city. Ooh. Now you're talking. Oh, that is so fortunate. I hope I'm in range though. I better fucking be in range. I'm not here. Shut up, man. Don't piss me off. Oh, I'm in range. Perfect. Okay. In the meantime. I would like an auxiliary camp. And I don't really have anything else to do with the money. So let's go for it. I need food. Okay. Oh no, I'm not in range. Now I am trespassing. We didn't declare war on them just yet, and I think in the next turn I can go I can go for war. Yeah. I don't think that general will still be there, unfortunately. If he's there, then I will be super happy. No, he went into the city, yeah. Sword cut. <sighs> yes, I'm gonna start recruiting another army though.
Do I have anybody good in my house? Morale for all units. Okay, morale. Public order. Oof, empire maintenance is not good. So, an automatic runaway. Okay, this guy's decent. Now let's go with this guy. Oh, we can get tortoises. Already. Nice. I could auto resolve it actually. But I don't want to, because I'm going to lose a lot of men. Okay, and other than that, not much to be done with the money. Other than, uh, well, if I have money to burn, then let's do something with the political situation. Let's kiss some of this guy's ass. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. You go to Carthage. Get some... Yeah, just have fun, man. Enjoy life. Don't be, don't be such a dumbass. Power-hungry woman. <laughs> yeah, this guy's gonna improve the next turn. Let's keep this guy happy as well. There we go. Go to Syracuse, enjoy life. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if Epirus is gonna send that army from Apollonia. Oh wait, I said I'm gonna stop the episode, but... Let's fight out this battle. <laughs> okay. So here's what I'm thinking. I fight the siege, but I complete the s I ignore the settlement completely and go for their navy. If they land on on the city, uh, if they land outside the city, I'm just gonna kill them and then just fall back. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. This guy's still not happy. Go away. 
Yeah, I think that sounds like a plan. Don't you guys think that? Oh, we're gonna run out of plebs. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, let's try to do that. Try to do what I said. Okay, they have elephants, but I have horses. They also have four horses. That's not bad. And the horses, I think, are going to be outside the city. I wonder where the navy come... where it's going to come from. Let's split the troops a little bit. So maybe the extra horses are in the city. What are these guys gonna do? Are they gonna go into the city? Come on, at least a few of them should land. Uh, they're all going to the city or are they going on the other side? What you doing? I think they're going on the other side. In that case, okay, this is the ah oh, fuck. That's not good. Because the the map is limiting us. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing. If I can fight them here, and this tight choke point. I don't know if they're gonna come though. Let's see. Um, whatever. What are these clowns doing, man? See if I, if I can hit them a little bit with the horse, maybe that's gonna trigger something in them.
No, it looks like not. Oh, they have. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it's time to go. Those guys are gonna stay in one place, and I can't reach them from here. No. Yeah. Oh well. How did I lose 190 men, I wonder? It counts as kills for their cavalry. That's they fight on the other side and I didn't see it. I doubt it. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Uh, we're gonna deal with Epirus and Pyrus in the next episode. I'm absolutely convinced I can destroy that army. Uh, I'm gonna have to let them in and just attack me. Or if not, uh, I will have to attack them with two armies. And the situation allows it because I have a relative peace across me. Around me, I should say. And that's a good thing. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Until then, stay safe, stay clean, and always stay strong.